Happy Monday. And also, we're kicking off the month of June over the weekend, the start of hurricane season as of Saturday, June 1st. And now here we go, looking live from our Fort Lauderdale camera. Broward County, a mix of sun and clouds and a beautiful sunrise from our Key West camera. Thanks to our weather watchers, Deborah Gallagher, sharing the view. And from sunrise, we're seeing a couple clouds there. Atlantic is in sending in this spectacular sunrise shot from Biscayne Bay, despite the clouds, still gorgeous. And we are mainly dry except for a few isolated showers in Broward County right now you can see a little bit of green popping up indicating some rain rolling into Fort Lauderdale as well as near Dania Beach and just near Hollywood the breeze out of the south southwest to 10 miles an hour pumping in that moisture and the heat that's making it feel so muggy this morning low 80s in Fort Lauderdale and in Pompano Beach in Miami upper 70s for Kendall Southwest Ranches Homestead 85 in Marathon you factor in the high humidity it feels like the upper 80s in Broward and Dade County feels like 93 in Marathon. So we're watching this area of showers and storms, a broad area of low pressure over the Bay of Campeche. It does have a medium potential, a 60% chance of becoming our next tropical cyclone as it lifts northward. It's expected to bring heavy rain to Mexico and eventually into Texas, parts of the southeast. But this is not a threat for us here in South Florida. I just want to emphasize that. Not a concern for us, but certainly a concern for our friends from Louisiana through parts of Arkansas already dealing with flooding and also those rivers that have been rising over the past few weeks as well as Mississippi and Missouri, Illinois, Indiana and parts of the Tennessee River Valley could see two five uh, plus inches of rain so we could see some severe weather more flooding for much of the southeast and the Gulf Coast states for us today highs soaring to the low 90s keep the umbrellas handy it's going to feel like the upper 90s and hundreds and with the heating of the day and the moisture and the sea breeze storms will develop we could even see a few showers as already is the case as we head into the morning but especially right around lunchtime look at the future radar models indicating noon 1 2 3 4 even 5 p.m. the potential for scattered storms and the heaviest rain will likely be inland as we head into the evening hours for boaters no advisories wind south 5 to 10 knots seas 1 to 2 if you're headed to the beach a low risk of rib currents UV index is extreme though so whatever your plans are if you're going to be out and about the sun is going to be out in full force so make sure you have some block tonight early storms warm and humid and we're going to repeat the heat and the humidity and the storms the next few days. Highs in the low 90s and then maybe just a not as hot Thursday, Friday, but still very warm. Upper 80s, low 90s. About a 30% chance of rain all week long and the heat continues. Let's get a check.